Jackie Kane and Roy Crowell. Hello, Detroit. How are you? Oh, we're doing real well here. Jackie, you stand about five foot four and a half and 110 pounds. Uh, what's your taste in fashion? Oh, I think I like uh, very, very simple and severe clothes best. And uh, I don't like to wear anything too uh, uh, gaudy or, or fancy. That sounds to me like that same honesty prevails in, in your music and your style, too. Well, thank you. I, I hope so. Uh, you're feeling about the lyrics uh, and songs. Uh, what do you like a song to have? Well, uh, I like it to make sense, first of all. I don't like uh, uh, flighty lyrics. Uh, Roy and I, first of all, examine a song for musical context. And then, of course, if we like the music, we examine the lyrics, and if it suits us and uh, makes uh, contemporary sense, why we then we do the tune. The phrase contemporary sense uh, intrigues me. Uh, I, I'd like to ask you uh, what you mean. Well, we have a few numbers that uh, were written by a young lad. His name is Tommy Wolf, and uh, his lyricist, Fran Landisman, uh, uh, writes some very contemporary lyrics. For example, one of the ballads that we recorded is called Spring Can Really Hang You Up the Most. Now, uh, this may sound facetious to some people, but actually, uh, hang you up is kind of an Americanism. In fact, uh, Bergen Evans has even discussed this on his program, you know, The Last Word. You remember this? Yes, show? I do. Well, uh, they talked about this title, and uh, they came to the conclusion that it actually is uh, should be accepted in the American language because it's used so predominantly uh, by young people. So uh, we like to do tunes like this that are kind of like modern-day folk tunes, actually, to us, because they say what young people are saying today. Well, that's certainly a, a fine uh, explanation of contemporary sense and uh, logic. And uh, also to a view on popular music. Uh, among new writers, I know you uh, mentioned Tommy, Tommy Wolf particularly and Fred yes. Lanzeman. Uh, yes. They've certainly been contributing a lot of new music. Oh, yes, they've written some wonderful things, and I think uh, we're going to be hearing a lot about them in the future. They're, uh, uh, they're not real popular as yet, but uh, more and more people are starting to do their material, and, uh, well, they're definitely very, very talented people. If I mention some names to you, uh, just off the cuff, uh, if I say Carmen McRae to you, what do you say? Oh, I say she's a guest. How about, uh, well, just uh, the name Basie? Basie? Oh, that, that sets my heart aglow. How about Lambert, Hendricks, and Ross? Yes, yes, I think they're very interesting. No, I, I don't know how, how far off the line Roy Crowell is, but uh, I'd certainly like to thank you, Jackie, and if Roy and you can share the phone together, maybe we'll do a sort of uh, uh, word or what we might call jazz roar shock. Jazz roar shock? Yes. Or raw shock? Roar shock. <laughs> uh, roar shock, yes. He's right here next to me. All right. Well, Roy, uh, I, I've mentioned uh, I've mentioned uh, Basie and Carmen McRae. Uh, I'll try some other names with you. Uh, if I say Bud Powell, what do you say? Well, let's see. Bud Powell is one of my favorite all-time piano players. Uh, one of the first exponents of uh, facility and fire and uh, he really steams. <laughs> if I mention uh, just the phrase recording session, what comes to mind? Oh, a lot of microphones, uh, a lot of nerves, and at the end, of the, a lot of pleasures, I guess. Let me mention audiences generally. What's your reaction? Uh, audiences seem to be the same everywhere in the country. Uh, usually you'll get into a city and they'll say, well, if you can get to our audiences, we've got the toughest audience to please in the country. Now, most cities will always say this, but usually people are all the same. And if you do uh, a good job and put your heart into it, uh, it communicates, and uh, you get across. Uh, if I mention Las Vegas, uh, Jackie, what do you say? <laughs> uh, she's over in the corner at this minute. Well, uh, perhaps you'd like to speak for her. I think I could. Actually, Las Vegas is our home, and uh, we have used that as a base for about four years now, worked there a great deal, and uh, we love the winter weather there. And, uh, of course, we're going to be looking forward to the winter weather up there in the Twin Cities. Uh, we're quite enthused about it because, uh, as you know, Jackie's dad is there, and uh, so we have a chance to see everybody. And uh, we followed uh, the Winter Carnival on television each year and have really enjoyed seeing it all, and we're very happy that we're going to be a part of it this year. Well, it's going to be a privilege to have you, Roy, and uh, we look forward to you and Jackie uh, 
joining us on Sunday night, January 28th. Um, this very intimate modern musicale, which you will present, will, will certainly fill uh, the Hall of St. Paul Auditorium Theater with everything from counterpoint to fugues and I don't know. What are you going to do with all those chord changes? Oh, we're just going to do everything we can. We're very enthused about coming up there. Roy, Rick Crowell, and Jackie Kane, many thanks to you for talking on our star line. Thank you. Thanks very much, Roy. Uh, this is Jackie now. I, I wasn't really pouting in the corner. I just came back to say goodbye. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, too. And um, I was going to throw this back and forth with you, but you didn't know that, and that's quite all right. Uh, it was a pleasure talking to you, Lee, and I, I'm looking forward to seeing you Sunday. Thanks very much. We'll okay. look forward to having you, too. All right. Bye-bye. Goodbye.